Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus and here's your word for the day. I remember crying out to God so specifically during a very difficult time in my life and I wanted to hear from him. I wanted him to give me answers right then and there. And as I sat there waiting to hear from him, I heard him say, I heard him say nothing. Total silence. I heard crickets. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever cried out to God and felt as if he is being silent during the most difficult times in your life? Because that's exactly how I felt and that's exactly how the psalmist felt in Psalm 83. You see, the nation of Israel is facing a national crisis and all their enemies are conspiring against them. Listen to how this psalm starts in Psalm 83, starting at verse 1. It says this, O God, do not keep silence. Do not hold your peace or be still, O God, for behold, your enemies make an uproar. Those who hate you have raised their heads. Uh, they lay crafty plans against your people. They consult together against your treasured ones. They say, come, let us wipe them out as a nation. Let the name of Israel be remembered no more. The writer felt as if God was being silent in one of the most difficult times in his life and for the nation of Israel. But the truth is, God is not silent. He hears our prayers. He hears our cries. He hears our petitions. And he's speaking to you. The question is, are we listening? Are you listening? You see, he has given us his written word, the Bible. The Bible is an inerrant, inspired word of God that tells us what to believe and how to live. As well as the living word, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember, the word became flesh whose Holy Spirit lives in us as his followers. You see, God's not silent at all. He's speaking and he's speaking clearly. But the question is, are you listening? And it was in that moment in my life when I thought that God was being silent, that he directed me to his word and I heard him through his word. I listened to him and I applied the word to my life. And I held on to that word that he spoke to me during the most difficult season in my life. And because of that, it not only saved my marriage, but completely restored it to what it is today. So the next time you're going through a difficult time, remember, God is speaking to you. He's not silent, but he's speaking to you through his word. Listen, if you don't have a Bible, we would like to bless you with one. We would, love, uh, it, it, we would love for everyone to have the Word of God because we know that if you read the Word of God and apply the Word of God to your life, that He will change your life. And that's what we're all about here at Calvary. So again, are you listening? Because God is speaking. God bless you and have a wonderful day.